My name is Ng Yisheng. I have published three books of poetry, Lost Boy, which came out in 2006 and won the Singapore Literature Prize, um, Loud Poems for a Very Obliging Audience, which is my spoken word collection published in 2016, and a book of hymns, which came out in 2017. I think a lot of my poetry has been about coming to terms with my identity as a queer Chinese Singaporean cosmopolitan person. That, that was behind a lot of my work in Lost Boy, this proce the process of coming out, uh, looking towards queer icons, like uh, looking at my own heritage um, in poems like Patriline, which was about my father. Loud poems is also very political, so like looking at uh, what does it mean to to be to live in Singapore now. A book of hymns uh, focuses much more on the queer experience, but uh, yeah, I don't know if that covers all of my poetry. I mean, I do do experiments experiments with language with form, but yeah, strangely enough, a lot of it just comes back to. Who, who am I, you know, living at, at this crossroads of, of, a, of nation, of region, of language, of race, of, you know, of a sexual orientation, etc. I think I, I realized a while ago that well, writing is one of the few things that People tell me I'm actually good at. And a lot of why I write is just for the attention. <laughs> I do like attention. It's strange to realize that. But, but uh, because you, should, you don't do it for the money, do you? But I think... I mean, it's not just about attention to myself. It's about trying to draw attention to issues you care about. It sometimes illum yeah, illuminating objects that you care about. And it's, it's strange, like, because I write fiction as well. I write, um, I write journalism, I write plays. And I find that because in poetry, you know, you're mostly writing with your own voice rather than, you know, usually making up, like, third-person characters. It is a form of monologue for me. It's a, it's a way of... It's a way of speaking. So, you know, in many ways, it is therapy. It's... I was going to say it's invective, which is true in some of my spoken word pieces, but I mean, I also have love poems, which is our, uh, you know, which are a form of confessional because you have to dig into yourself to say, what do I really feel? What is true? So I guess that is what poetry does for me. Hi! My poems attract a certain kind of fan base. People, uh, I've realized a lot of uh, queer people are very happy to read them. A lot of, uh, a lot of people who like, like rebellious political poetry like them. But, uh, but that doesn't cover everyone. And of course, I don't expect everyone to like my poetry. I... In fact, I remember after my, my book won the Singapore Literature Prize and uh, there was a reading group that was at the library which was reading it. And someone said, your, your poems make me feel stupid. And that was not my intention at all, of course. I, I, do, I do like to draw from different bodies of of knowledge, of literature, I've got po uh, of um, language, I've got poems that uh, make reference to, you know, Aztec gods and to, to physics. Part of the joy that I find in, 
poetry in language is that there is so much. I mean, there's the when you're trying to make something new, you get to consider. Wait, there are all these, there are all these words that people don't use enough. There are all these images, these metaphors that are out there and which have not yet become cliché. I remember Li Su Ping writing the blurb for for Lost Boy, and she was. She was saying that, uh, don't forget to stand aside, catch your breath, and observe the soul ground. Because she felt that, um, I think she said, she felt I was being too clever in my poems. I was trying, sort of showing off how much I knew. And she felt that, no, it's, um, that is true. He is a snotty little show off. But he is also speaking from a place of truth. It is um, a con. It is a confessional for him. And so I suppose, if you are a new reader, and you are turned off by some of my poems, I'd like you to, you know, just be patient and find if there's just one poem that you do connect with, I'm I'm happy, because there's also just so many other writers out there, so many artists. Um, I'm not going to be parochial and say hashtag read singlet because there's a whole world of people out there. You know, it's not just read singlet or read American lit or read British lit. There's all these really talented Malaysians and Burmese and Vietnamese and, you know, so there's just a rich old world out there. And I guess I'm trying to do what I can with my writing to celebrate that.